Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? It's your girl, Miss Brown Callie, coming back with another quick little review, my little two cents on this Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Let's begin. Let's get into this review, or should I say my two cents. Let's start off with um, Young Jock. The whole little Young Jock going into the shop, blowing up the spot, Posha Queena. Uh, felt sorry for her, but he, they, the ladies did, they did sabotage him, but he came back and, and you know, you, that's right, you, you go for what you want, you feel that's, that relationship is meant for you, he, he went, that's, you gotta fight for what's yours, you know, if you feel that's the one, then you fight for it, make sure you, you go for what you want, that's the woman you love, you wanna be with, don't let them, don't let them sabotage you. Keep on pushing. If it's meant to be, it'll work out. And for um, Miss Carly. Carly, Carly, Carly. I don't believe Carly's telling the truth. And the sad thing is, if you've been watching Love Hip Hop for a long time, Carly has been messy through several seasons. She's 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 played her part in doing stuff to other people's relationship, and I think it's finally caught up with her. I believe that she's lying. I, I think she did. I think she was she was down with the threesomes and stuff. And I think she did it. Um, and the bad part about the whole situation is that when As adults, when we make choices, that's fine. You do, you grown, you do whatever you want to do. But sometimes you need to think about how your actions are going to affect the people around you, your loved ones. And I really feel sorry for her daughter because nobody wants to deal with that. Nobody, you know, you getting stressed out over something you had nothing to do with. And I know, you know, that's to have to be. A terrible thing to go through it, to the point that you just like forget it I can't even deal with this no more and you want to just walk away and from school you you giving up on you that's not the answer I would have tried transferring maybe uh, sorry about that I was interrupted I, I don't even remember where I left off but I think I think I was talking about the daughter trying to transfer something you know but I know it's, it's hard but you can't give up on yourself and what your goals are because of something that you had no control over. You can't control what your parents do or what people say. So you, you have to get back on track and think about what's best for you. And you're just going to have to ignore it, you know. Um, but the reason I believe Carly is lying is because the way she handled the situation. If you really didn't do anything wrong, why not take the lie detector test in front of everybody? Why not say, hey, Rashida. And kudos to Rashida. You know, she's trying to do something positive. You know, the whole the mother-daughter get-together was a, a wonderful idea, a good event. And, um, you know, that's, you know, I'm glad to see that because the show d does depict women in a not-so-positive light most of the time. And I that was a good thing that shows that we are better than that. But back to what I was saying about the um, lie detector tonight. Why not get the ladies together and, and do it in front of everybody? Instead, you did it behind closed doors. No one was around to see what the questions were. And then you just bring out the results like, oh, see, you know, I passed it. She's lying. That just made you look more guilty to me. Like, because if you're truly innocent, then what's the issue? Why be so secretive about what you did and what, how you went about it? Like, most people, if they're innocent, you could have did it in front of her. You could have had her there in front of everyone. And I think you think that's what, you know, you, you keep doing little sneaky stuff still. you still doing underhanded things. And why? It, it's just like you you still trying to say, but you was you was good friends with her. 
what is she getting out of saying this? Like, I think you did it. And now you just, and it's so embarrassing to your daughter. That's why you're not trying to own up to it. Now, now you're trying to change. But sometimes in life, you just have to accept it. The things you've done, your past is your past and you have to own it instead of trying to lie about it because you just made yourself look more guilty. Nobody knows what questions were asked. You could add, add them answers that your child, like that doesn't really prove that you, that she's lying. That just proves that you being even more deceptive. So I don't know if we really will find out the truth at this point it really doesn't matter because I don't see anything to gain from it like what is there to gain somebody's lying so now the whole crew is looking at everybody like well we know one of y'all lying so we don't either they're gonna rock with you or, or they not at this point or they're gonna trust you or they not so I don't really see no positive outcome out of it out of it either way well, that's my little two cents on this love in hip-hop Atlanta. If you like the video, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you believe Carly? Do you think she's telling the truth? Do you think she's lying? Hit the subscribe button. And thanks. To the next one.